Chen Pao has been an incredibly popular deck since it was first released in Paldea Evolved. However, its popularity hasn't always lined up with its success. It has been a little bit temperamental and its results up until fairly recently have been a little disappointing. But in recent times, players have begun to optimize the list, and now we're starting to see Chen Pao get some really solid results, including wins at local tournaments. And most recently, at the time of this recording, I'm recording this just before Sacramento Regionals, so I don't actually know how Chen Pao did there. Regardless, at Peoria Regionals, Chen Pao got top eight with uh, this build by Grant Shen, which I believe actually came from Seer and Farah, at the very least. <laughs> um, Seer and Farah, a uh, great player and has cooked up this list, kind of known as the Canadian list for Chen Pao that's been performing really well. And it seems like at this point, this this is the, the skeleton for what is the optimal Chen Pao list at this point in time. Players are largely using this as a base, tweaking one or two cards here or there. But generally speaking, what we're going to look at today is at this point in time, seemingly, the optimal way to play Chen Pao. I'm Jet from InThirdPerson.com. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's talk about the, the best way to play Chen Pao seemingly at this point in time. Before we get into the video, I just quickly wanted to let you know that I am fundraising for Extra Life. This is a fundraiser where 100% of the proceeds go towards the Children's Miracle Network of hospitals and thank you to everybody who's donated thus far and if you haven't donated yet uh, not only are you donating towards a wonderful cause but you can get some great rewards from me including a signed pokemon card from me as well as prints of my spray paint art including this pikachu one this me one over here a mario kart rainbow road one and a original waterfall painting from me some more details on the extra life page link is in the description of the video thank you so much for your support and your consideration now let's go back to the video Chen Pao is a basic water Pokemon with 220 HP to retreat. It has the awesome ability Shivery Chill lets you grab two cards or two water basic water energy cards from your deck and put them into your hand. And it has the attack Hail Blade, which does 60 damage for each water energy you discard off of your Pokemon. With uncapped damage, this thing can one shot pretty much anything in the game. However, you are discarding energy constantly and you're going to have to constantly reload your hand in order to get the energy back onto your Pokemon for KOs. We're gonna be doing that with Baxcalibur. With the super cold ability, lets you attach any number of water po water energy from your hand to your Pokemon in any way you like. So generally, turn after turn, you're going to attack with Hailblade, and then on the following turn, get the energy back using cards like Superior Energy Retrieval, and then attach with Baxcalibur and swing again. However, we do have other attack options here as well. We do have Radiant Greninja, not only amazing for drawing more cards with the Moonlight Shuriken or Concealed Cards ability, lets you discard a water energy and draw two cards. Um, also getting the water energy helps because that makes it easier to grab energy with superior energy retrieval, but its Moonlight Shuriken attack allows you to discard two water energy and do 90 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon. Great for taking out two pr single prize targets like Ralts's and Curlia's and um, Comphase and so on to really try and take multiple prizes on every turn. And with the combination of Super Rod, there it is possible to use Radiant Greninja multiple times in this deck and take just a ton of prizes with Greninja, which is really awesome. So let's talk about the Pokemon counts here. We've got three copies of Shen Pao. We've got a three two line of Baxcalibur. I've normally seen 3-3, three, three, but we only got two Baxcalibur in here, and they, they also include one copy of the 70 HP Frigabax. Now, I know that the 60 HP one, it's a little easier to retreat, and the 70 HP one has a retreat cost of two, so it sucks when you start with just this one. However, the 70 HP Frigabax makes you less vulnerable to Sableye's Lost Mine, where they can drop 12 damage counters, and they can easily take out two Frigabaxes. But if you've got the 70 HP one, that throws off the math a little bit, and forces your opponent to not take as many prizes on that Lost Mine attack, which is nice. We've got one Radiant Greninja, one Mana Fee to protect the bench, and then we've got a 2-2 line of Bibaral for drawing up to five cards. And we definitely want to 
want to cycle through our deck as fast as we can because we're looking for all the items to get our stuff set up. Okay, we've got one copy of Heavy Ball to get a basic Pokemon from the prizes into our, our hand. Could be great for getting that Radiant Greninja out of there, possibly uh, Manaphy, whatever it is. Basics, grab them, put them in there. Pokestop is a huge part of this particular build of Chen Pao. We are running a heavy item-based build of, of Chen Pao. So we've got the Pokestop to try and fish out our items a little more efficiently, whether that's Super Rod, Ball Surge, Energy Retrievals, Rare Candies. This can help us get there. Now, there is a chance that you will draw into cards that aren't items and you'll have to discard them, but because we are playing in heavy item build, we are trying to mitigate the, the bad side of Pokestop as much as possible. Two copies of Super Rod lets us put any combination of basic energy and Pokemon back into our deck from the discard pile. We may want this to get our Chen Pao or Baxcalibur back, as well as some basic energy if we've got too much in there that we can't get with superior energy, energy retrieval anyway four copies of Nest Ball to get our basics down, four copies of Battle VIP Pass to get our basics down. This only works on the first turn though. However, this is a, a deck that really wants to set up wide quickly. So Battle VIP Pass, totally worth it here. One copy of Iono, it's the only hand disruption card we have in this deck. We shuffle our hand, both players shuffle their hands, put it to the bottom of the deck and draw equal to the number of prize cards remaining. This is great for refreshing our hand in the early game or disrupting our opponent's hand. And particularly in the late game, you could force your opponent down to one or two prize cards at the end or one or two cards at the end if they only have one or two prize cards remaining. Huge card in this deck, superior energy retrieval. You discard two cards and you draw four water energy from your discard pile and put them into your hand so that we can reload the Chen Pao or the Greninja and get those massive KOs. We've got four copies of Ultra Ball, discard two cards and grab a Pokemon of our choice. Irida is the backbone of this deck. Our engine lets us grab a water Pokemon and an item from our our deck and put it into our hand and there's so many combinations grabbing Chen Pao, Baxcalibur. Most commonly it's going to be Baxcalibur Rare Candy but there are so many helpful combinations of cards that we can grab with Irida making it absolutely invaluable in this deck. We've got four copies of Cross Witcher. Something to note, we don't play boss's orders in this deck. We are using item-based gusting here instead, which allows us to then play an Iono or an Irida. And <clears throat> you have to play two of these at once in order to get the, the switch to work. Also, you have to switch your active Pokemon as well as your opponent. So you'll have to sequence it just right in terms of what you have in the active so that the bench Pokemon can move in. But um, incredibly strong card here in cross switcher and combined with pokestop and irida it's it's really great as a gusting option two copies of canceling cologne pairing this with radiant or with radiant greninja you can load up radiant greninja uh gust up a manaphy with the cross switcher turn off turn off manaphy's ability to block the block bench damage with canceling cologne and then bomb and we've got two of these there are going to be maybe times where you can actually cancel in Cologne twice, but for the most part, it's going to be a one-shot deal, and we've got extra here so that we can draw into it a little more consistently. And last but not least, we've got three rare candies to get our Baxcalibur set up. We don't run the, the middle evolution, the Arc to Bax. We just go straight from Frigibax to Baxcalibur, which makes a even more sense here because we have Irida to get the rare candy whenever we want. And then we've got nine basic water energy. So general game plan, you want to set up as wide as possible. You get at least one Chen Pao, ideally two Frigabaxes, one Greninja, and then one Bidoof. Turn two, you get your Beeberal set up, you get your Baxcalibur set up. Uh, you're pulling water with Shivery Chill. By your second turn, hopefully you've pulled four water energy and you are loading that up with your Baxcalibur either onto Chen Pao or Greninja, taking multiple prize KOs throughout the game to try and just out-tempo your opponent to win. This is as one of the most offensively aggressive decks in the game. You can theoretically one-shot everything, even the bulky Charizard. It's a little tougher. Trying to get six water energy in, in a go can be a little tricky, but uh, Chen Pao can be incredibly effective in that match as well. All right, let's get to these matches. We get ourselves a Bidoof and a Frigabax. This is a pretty good start. I think the goal, yeah, we'll retreat that, go into Chen Pao, 
attach this energy, grab some more energy, and, and we go from there. Let's go and see what we can set up with. Lost Box is a little weird. It's not the ideal matchup for sure. Let's go and grab... We can retreat into the Chen Pao. And I think we can get a Greninja right now. Yep. And we can set up a, a second Frigabax so that we don't get um, surprised here. And we're actually going to go throw down the 70 HP one so that we don't get punked by... We don't get punked by a, a Sableye play later. And we can actually go and conceal cards one of them. And we will leave it at that for now. Is there any value in benching the second Chen Pao? I don't think so. Maybe after the next turn, we can do that. Now, one of the, the awkward things is that we don't have an out to Irida right now. We, we would if we had Luminion in the deck, but that has been not deemed not optimal at the very least. So we're going to have to figure something else out instead. Thin our hand, we get the Bieber roll, um, and then we figure it out from there. It might just be a matter of throwing a bunch of... Ooh, Tina. Okay. Tina isn't necessarily the worst in the sense that they we can one-shot a Giratina. We should be able to one-shot a Giratina. So I guess, yeah, what's the sequence here in terms of what do we shivery chill and then we discard a bunch of energy, then we draw and then we we Bieberol. I think we grab a bunch of energy, thin the deck, then we Greninja to draw two cards. Hopefully at that point we can grab, oh, what are we going to boss up? Probably the seven. Yeah, that's annoying. That's annoying. It's the one that's hard to retreat too. And now we can't grab more water. Mm. The plot thickens. Now, I think the easiest thing we can do is add the Bibril. We can go and get the second Chen Pao down. Let's go and see if we can get like a Backscalibur rolling here. There, there we go. Okay, so if we go... Oh, we can't Rare Candy Energy Retrieval though. Hmm... Oh, we haven't used Bibril yet, though. Okay. So, what if we go... Hmm. What's the play? If we go... Like... Hmm. I, I kind of don't like this. And we don't have any other switch outs, which is annoying. So, maybe we have to go Rare Candy backs at the moment? Yeah, let's do that. We still have one water energy. We'll evolve this one up. Let's go and discard the Ultra Ball and this other Ultra Ball. And what do we even want at this point? I guess we'll just grab the Frigabax just to thin the deck. And then we'll draw three and see what happens. Okay, we get a Pokestop. And I don't know what we could get from the Pokestop possibly here. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> um, we don't get a lot of anything. Uh, let's go and put the energy then on the Greninja. Um, I guess we could put it on the Frigabax as well in case we, we get an opportunity to retreat it later. And yeah, we, we, we'll attack it for 10. Let's attack for 10. Now, we have a ton of energy in the discard pile hopefully we don't get pathed into oblivion but really what we need is a Ooh, yes throwing that energy in the discard pile very nice very nice if we can get ourselves a couple of energy retrievals here then we will be golden i've always wondered here sequencing challenge right 
uh, I could on the next turn I should be able to draw one with Bibril. Do I draw one with Bibril and then I Ono? Or do we Iono first, back to six, knowing that maybe we're not going to be able to be Beeble. But if I Iono and I get something that can thin my hand, I could potentially then draw with Beeble and get even more cards. Yeah, thus is the challenge of sequencing in the Pokemon TCG. Now they've gotten two grass in the Lost Zone and there's one in the discard, which, is, which bodes well for us definitely bodes well for us okay let's go and see what they grab here do they grab a giratina v-star the other thing is we did not play i don't even know if this i should have looked at the list a little better actually let me go take a peek here is manaphy in this list oh yeah there is manaphy so they could totally bomb on us if they wanted to they probably won't like we have a lot of high hp i mean the only thing is the 70 hp frigabacks so that's not as much of a concern they have six in the lost zone i am very much playing for the greninja here snipe out the two comp phase and we can figure out how to get the the rest of these out of here Ooh, i think we give them the b roll right um, I don't want to give them the Greninja because I don't want, yeah, they're not going to take any KOs right now. And Baxcalibur attaches to any Pokemon. Okay. There's our energy retrieval. Now we get rid of Frigabax, Battle VIP Pass. We go one, two, three, four. Right, we go and get, let's go and conceal cards. I'm not sure if that's the optimal play super rod. Do we want, okay, let's go and attach two to the Bibarel and attach one to the Greninja, right? I will hard retreat into the Greninja and let's Bibarel up. I'm going to take my chances here. Draw two more cards. We don't get it. Let's go and Super Rod. Some of the energy. I'm going to go and get... That might have been too much. Let's go and Iono here. Now, this is going to be a, clearly a Sableye target later. And we do get the Superior Energy Retrieval. And I think we just leave the cram out there. So let's go and get the energy. Let's get rid of heavy ball and poke stop. And we will grab the energy. Now it's not as much as I would like because I super rotted a bunch of it back. So that's something to consider. Let's go put one energy on the Chen Pao. And I arguably, I could have also used it to get the Giratina out of here now that i think about it oh we get the uh losing the irida sucks but okay let's go moonlight shuriken and take out the two comp phase and un unless we get ionoed here we put ourselves in a good position to knock out the giratina okay we got three cross switcher pieces yeah because now they can't get any more stuff into their lost zone They're still short on the Star Requiem quite a bit, and they don't have any comp phase to pull that up. Okay, they get a... Ooh, Beach Court Luminion out of here. Okay. I mean, they could... I don't know what Beach Court helps them with unless they have another comp phase in hand. If they don't, they are in big trouble. Okay, they're going to get a bunch of that energy back. That's good for them. The potential big problem is if they knock out the Baxcalibur, it's not necessarily impossible for us to work through this, but it is a little messy for sure. Beach Court does help us in the sense that we get the... Okay, if this is how they end and they just spit innocently, I think we got game right here. This is pretty sick. 
right? So we will go. I don't need the nest ball anymore. Let's go and superior energy retrieval. We'll get rid of the canson cologne and the nest ball. Let's go grab four energy. Oh my goodness. It's only three energy. I am missequencing this like crazy. Okay. Let's go and attach energy to probably the Chen Pao's at this point. So that we potentially have those attackers later, but like this should be this should be it. Let's go and cross switch her up. We get the Giratina in. We bring in the Chen Pao. We draw some more cards. Hopefully we can get some some more stuff here oh yeah oh yeah let's go and attach let's attach to here and we get the second back caliber set up and we we swing oh yeah let's just shivery chill first and we'll grab some more energy i'll actually hold on to that for now and let's go swing so we need five for the ko let's go one two three four five that should be 300 yep there we go light work giratina get out of here all right oh man if he was prized anyway which of course i should have known because <laughs> um yeah i could have played that a little better but that's okay that's okay never punished they're just gonna spit innocently here and yeah that's game that's game let's just go and, and hail blade here for 120 that's gonna do it right that's gonna do it i didn't miss sequence this or anything we wiped the board with chen pao g oh wait oh yeah okay we're good we're good i was like oh why didn't we take the other prize um wipe the board with them that was about as smooth of a chen pao game as we were going to get we got all the cards we wanted maybe we could have gotten four energy instead of three off those energy retrievals had i not used the super rod but um we were still able to get in all the attacks that we wanted we got the greninja snipe in there we got the massive one hit ko on the giratina and the sequencing of that was actually really important I think that in retrospect, taking out the Confes was the right choice. They were one short of getting the at least Mirage Gates online. And if we had knocked out the Giratina first, they could have gotten the Confes rolling, gotten to 10, gotten a second Giratina down, gotten Sableye, and it would have been a different match. But by cutting off the Confes when we did, we were able to make short work of this Giratina deck. GG's. Okay, we get double Frigga backs. That's not bad, but we have... <laughs> and we have double rare candy, which is nice, but our hand is a little bricky. Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan. Okay. Um, What do we want? We get the Chen Pao, and do we want another Chen Pao? I don't think we need another Chen Pao. Let's go and grab a Bidoof so we can hopefully draw more cards. Right now, our hand is very, <laughs> very bad. Sh uh, Kangaskhan is from the new... There's a new EX deck with Kangaskhan. Its big thing is incessant punching, where for three, ener three colorless energy, you do 100 damage. And you flip four coins, you do 100 damage for each heads. So, um definitely a bit of a gamble on our opponent's part and this could buy us some time especially since they brick they didn't even attach any energy here we have energy retrieval we can't do anything all right this is brutal <laughs> um an irida or something would be very nice right about now holy cow okay canceling cologne oh oh my goodness <laughs> this is not Man, top tier Pokemon TCG content making right here. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, just pull the plug, play an Iono or something. I will let this rock. I think we're both stuck. I don't. I don't know how serious the Kangaskhan deck is. I don't think it's that serious, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, at the same time as Kangaskhan, they released the Greninja one, and I I streamed the Greninja EX. I tried to make a deck out of it. I I still think the uh, the concept I should be okay, but it performed horribly on stream. 
it was so bad that I uh, let's get rid of let's get rid of a rod right now. Now the big problem here is that getting oh I could have grabbed a back scalper, but like we have so many cards in hand we can't even draw. I probably should have gotten a back scalper set up. But right now we can't do anything still. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about the the Greninja stream. If anyone's wondering, like, hey, where's the I did where's the Greninja EX video? Every time you do a stream, you make a video of the thing the next day, and it was bad. We played it for over two hours, and I hardly won. And not to say that winning is everything. I do put I go out of my way to put losses in the videos where it makes sense. But we were just having horrible matches. Even the wins weren't good. And I was not liking the way that the the deck was flowing at that point in time. Ooh, okay. Here we go. We can get some stuff rolling here. Now, actually, let's go and get a Greninja down. Let's get a Greninja down. Uh, let's get a Pokestop down. And I, I'm going to Pokestop first which I probably shouldn't have done there. If I grab, yeah, I still don't have, I could attach energy right now. I don't want to, let's go and conceal cards. Okay, we get a cross switcher, that's nice. We have energy retrieval, which is uh, not really helpful at this point in time. I think we wait. We might lose this Frigabax, and that may be a risk I am willing to take at this point in time. We need a rare candy, though, like in the worst way. Two energy. Let's go and see. They've got the third energy. Here we go. They hit one heads. We're losing the Frigabax. <laughs> Yeah, so the, the Greninja deck performed horribly. It was literally it was the worst stream. Uh-oh. They're going to go and hit the Chen Pao. That's you know not ideal, for sure, but not necessarily the worst. They have to hit three heads. Okay, they were short. They're still going to do 180 damage, which is a lot. Still a lot. Um, We get a second Bidoof. I don't think we need... The second Bidoof. We have the Backscalibur in hand. Let's go and get another Chen Pao. We only have one Chen Pao. Okay. Uh, that's not good. That's not good. Let's go and... I guess Beebrel up one. This could be... This is an absolute sequencing nightmare. Okay. And we need Rare Candy right now. Hey, okay. Um, we also need super rod. Now I feel really bad for getting rid of that super rod. Okay, that was shivery chill. So we have up to two energy we can get rid of. Let's go and draw some more cards. Maybe we can get rod in the next go round. But let's definitely... Okay, we get rid of, um, I don't want to get rid of Nest Ball and Ultra Ball. We have don't have any attackers on the next go. Okay, let's go and get rid of an Ultra Ball. Actually, no, we'll keep the Ultra Ball. We'll keep the Ultra, let's get rid of Nest Ball and a Cross Switcher. And we will go and grab this energy. Three is not ideal, but, okay, so we need four to knock this out. One, two, three. Oh, I probably should have put... Let's get the Greninja ready. I probably should have gone... Yeah, because they're not attacking next turn, right? Yeah, so I probably could have gotten... Let's go and just attack. And we are going to do... Um. Yeah, the, the, the Chen Pao is not dead. The Chen Pao is not dead. So we will get rid of three off the Greninja and then one off of the the Chen Pao. We still got this ready to attack on the next turn. We take the big KO and hopefully we get another Chen Pao here. Oh my goodness. Okay. 
Um, real scary hours here. Real scary hours. I. It is mortifying to me that we are rolling with one Chen Pao right now. Okay, our opponent did... Oh, they got rid of the Avery. That's good. That's good. Arceus. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Arceus is not a bad inclusion in this deck, but it's kind of unfortunate that they are getting Arceus so late in the game here. Hopefully, we can draw some more. Oh, we should be able to draw at least enough energy to knock out this Kangaskhan. Yeah, we should just be able to Shivery Chill and and smash now i don't want to get rid of my hand right now okay let's go and at least shivery chill first thin the deck then we can poke stop afterwards and hopefully we land on a super rod here poke stop no oh and we got rid of a poke stop let's get a second back scalibur set up at least and what's the play okay the Super cold. Let's put it on the... They're still not knocking us out next turn. I think we're playing with house money at the moment. And do we actually... I probably could have cross switched my way to knock out the Arceus, which is probably a little more dangerous than the... Okay. We're just going to 240. And one, two, three, four. Let's go and take these out. Okay, this con hasn't really done much of anything. But we'll take that. We'll take that. Chen Pao. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine, homies. This is good. I think we just need to... <laughs> Let's see how our opponent plays this. They have a not particularly strong... Maybe not the strongest deck here, to be honest. But that's okay. I wanted to see... I wanted to see Kangaskhan cook. And what? Dialga! Okay. <laughs> okay. We got ourselves a game. We potentially have ourselves a game, right? They, they do the double turn thing. They hit for weakness. This, this could be a, a situation. Sure. Sure. Let's play it out. We'll see what happens. We get, we get some energy back. That actually was a no. Cause now you, you can't accelerate energy to the Dialga. Okay, we're going to let it go. We're going to let it go. I think that for many of you, the the Chen Pao deck is generally from familiar to you. And I, I should have talked about it in the intro, about like how the focus of this, this deck is more item-based, fewer supporters. Like, yeah, you're going to have your Irida in there, but uh, not really much in the way of supporter cards are really leaning on Pokestop. And, and an item-based build for all of our pieces, our ball search, our rare candies, and all that. And I will say, this has been flowing pretty nicely. And I know that this video is shaping up to be um, a little shorter than usual. But I do think that we've shown... I mean, yes, the, our starting hand here was absolutely miserable. But the benefits of a build like this. And, you know, as I mentioned at the earlier in the video, that this is kind of becoming the optimal list at this point in time and you know chen pao is still not necessarily a, a top tier deck but it is winning at local events it's do it's starting to place like it was top eight at peoria i'm recording this before sacramento full disclosure so i am not sure how it did in sacramento i'm gonna guess it did fine i'm gonna guess it did fine possibly won the whole thing but okay here comes the second arceus <laughs> not really sure but in terms of like how Chen Pao plays, I I very much like this version of of the deck, and I I'm very I'm willing to try more. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so right now we have too many cross switchers. We have a bunch of water. Oh, we don't have. Okay, we have no more water in the deck. Okay, we have three energy retrievals though. Okay, how do we? How do we thin our hand so we can draw? Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I actually shouldn't have done that because now. Yeah, I just want to thin my hand and OK, we still keep two cross switchers if we. 
And we'll leave the Manaphy in there so we can draw three. And we need a superior energy retrieval right here. Now, we don't get it. Okay. So, we can at least do... Oh, we get Irida. That gets us four. Okay, let's do this. Let's do that. Let's go and super rod two energy back. Actually, yeah, we can afford to get five because we only need we're only gonna get four, right? So yeah, let's go and do this. We throw that energy back in. Um I think this is gonna work. Let's go and switch out the Dialga. And we'll grab Chen Pao. We will grab two energy. Oh, this isn't exactly what I wanted, but for five. Yeah, this will still work. This will still work. Okay, there's our energy retrieval. So we can actually get rid of. We can get rid of Irida at this point. Yeah, let's get rid of Irida, Rare Candy. We'll go grab our four energy back. And we'll go load up this Chen Pao. We only need four. Yeah, we get the win. G, G. So some really interesting sequencing there. I know this was a slow start. Our opponent was not necessarily playing a optimal deck to say the least, but nevertheless, I think it's still valuable to go through the motions and see how we sequence our cards in order to uh, find the most optimal route to victory. And yeah, it was a little odd. We got clogged up with items really early on, and thankfully we were able to eventually draw into the the right combination of cards so we could start taking KOs on those Kangaskhans. And at the end there, we were able to take the one hit KO. It was a little bit of digging there, but we were able to take the KO and win the game. And yeah, we were up against a, another multi-prize deck. This is kind of what Chen Pao really wants, is to be able to uptrade against basically anything in the game. And then we've got Greninja there for the snipe to take out some smaller take multiple prizes on smaller Pokemon. GG's. And that wraps up a look at Chen Pao EX with a build that's often known as the Canadian list. Again, shout outs to uh, Siren Farah for, for the list and Grant Chen, congratulations to you for getting to top eight at Peoria with this list. Again, Chen Pao has been a very popular deck for a while now and it's kind of underperformed up until this point but players are continuing to tweak and optimize the deck, and it seems like the skeleton of this going with a heavy item search version of the deck with the Beeberals seems to be the way to go at this point in time. Of course, the meta shifts, we might find even more innovations that make the deck even more optimal. Uh, you may have noticed we're not seeing any sort of Arceus or or Palkia in the deck here, but right now this is the list that has been performing the best in tournament play. So whether whether you want to try and switch to this particular build, or you really like your Palkia and your Arceus, or however else you build build Chen Pao, this is another way to go about it, and one that has proven to be very successful. Okay, time to get out of here. I, I had a brain fart there. I was gonna say something else. I gotta get out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Before we go, some quick plugs. You can find me on all the things, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, you can find me on Twitch at In Third Person, where I stream the Pokemon trading card game every Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern time. And check out the website, InThirdPerson.com, for more articles and videos on video games, board games, and other nerdy pursuits. I was going to promote the Extra Life thing. Yeah, let's do that. I've got the art here one more time. Uh, again, at the at the beginning of the video, we talked about Extra Life. We'll do that one last time real quick. Um, I am fundraising for Extra Life. We are doing this in support of the Children's Miracle Network of Hospitals. 100% of the proceeds go towards the Children's Miracle Network of Hospitals. And if you donate to my campaign, you can get some really cool rewards, including a signed Pokemon card from me. And these spray paint art prints of my my spray paint art including pikachu mew and oh there's it says upside down uh mario kart and more so uh yeah hit the link in the description for the extra life if you're interested in getting these and a, a thank you note from me and the signed pokemon card and all that but for now let's get out of here 
Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.